Congressman Mike Turner joins us now. Good morning, Congressman. Good morning, Ansley. Good morning. So that call was on March 18th. It was two hours, and the president said he was clear there will be consequences if you align with Russia. He said that to President Xi. Why do you want a briefing now? You want a classified briefing. Your whole committee does. Well, the only thing that's clear is that whenever this president speaks, it isn't clear as to what he means or what he says. The White House always having to clean up uh, after his recent uh, trip uh, meeting with uh, the NATO leaders. You know, they had so many times where they had to clarify his statements, statements that I think made it also more difficult to come to a resolution. But as the war continues to rage and, and Russia continues to uh, attack uh, civilians in Ukraine, there's great concern as to what Russia and China will be doing as, it, as, as they continue to move closer together. Lavrov, as you just reported, being in China and making the statement of a new democratic world order. They are not, they are certainly not democratic. This is an authoritarian state meeting with an authoritarian state. And right now we're watching them attack a validly elected democratic country. Are you concerned that something was said on that call? Well, we don't know, right? I mean, you know, whenever uh, President Trump had any conversations with world leaders, you know, we, Adam Schiff and company would go crazy wanting to know what was their thinking that something nefarious had happened in this. We, it's not as if we think something nefarious occurred, but we do worry about what was said and whether or not there's additional damage uh, to the relationships or the message. Did the, did the president continue to muddle his message uh, when he speaks to world leaders? So Russia is now saying that it's building this new democratic world order with China. What exactly does that mean and will there be consequences? Well, of course, we, we don't know what it means, but we do know this. It certainly is not good for the United States. It's not good for NATO. It's not good for our other allies. Um, and in that, you know, the president needs to stand firm and be strong. And that's what we've been very concerned about in watching his statements in Europe and watching his statements concerning Russia's actions, uh, their murderous actions in Ukraine. And then the question mark of what are his statements that he's been making to China? Because we want to make certain that this conflict comes to an end, that NATO and the United States remain secure, and certainly that Russia and China do not uh, continue uh, to threaten their neighbors. Congressman Turner from the great state of Ohio, thank you so much for thank coming on so with us. Thanks. Great to see you.